Ms. Lyle, according to what I read in your complaint, the defendant had dated your dad for a while. Yes. This is your dad? No, that's a family friend. From when to when did your father and Miss Kelly date? I don't know. When? I never officially dated her father. We were very close. Close friends? Um, he was incarcerated and I was just a friend that he could call and talk to and I was there for him. How did you meet him? Um, I'm really good friends with her aunt. And that's how you met her father while he was in jail? Yes. Would you visit him? No. Just communicate? Yes. Did he get out of jail? Yes, he did. When? I, I want to say in April of... 2016, but I'm not positive on the date. And when he got out of jail, did you see him regularly? No. Okay. There came a time when, according to you, you needed a place to stay. Yes. When was that? A little bit before March is when we discussed about me moving in with her because I could a no longer... A little bit before March is when? I started working on her for on February 22nd. I don't remember the exact date when we talked about me living. Okay. Where had you been living up until then? I lived in Spokane. With whom? On my own. And what happened that you needed a place to stay? I just couldn't afford my place anymore, and me and her discussed, and she said that I could move in there temporarily, but we never discussed a payment plan. She just... Just a sec. You're getting ahead of yourself. Sorry. So you moved in when? On March 27th. What kind of work do you do? I'm a certified nurse's assistant. And you have children who need services, so you get money from the state for daycare? Yes, I get subsidized daycare. And did you fill out the paperwork for the plaintiff to become a payee on that? Yes, I did. When did you do that? I filled out the paperwork in February of this year. Prior to that, who was taking care of your children? I wasn't working at the time. You started working when? Uh, my orientation date was February 22nd. My first official day of work was March 1st. And she moved in on March 27th, and you started to collect money from the state? Yes, ma'am. How much? It was over two grand for all three kids altogether. $2,000? Yeah, it was over two grand. A week, a month? A month. $1,691 an hour. Hmm? $1,691 an hour is what she was making at 230 hours a month. How many hours a month? 230. That's a lot of hours. How many hours did you work? I work eight hours a day, but she gets an hour in the morning for travel time and an hour before I get home. They cut, uh, so she gets 10 hours a day because they give her travel time. So she was but getting But she doesn't 10. travel. She was living with you. No, because I have to leave to get to work. So she had to be there prior to when I started. So she they, was there. No, she wasn't. She didn't live with me at the time. When did she move in? She moved in the end of April after she was evicted. And she left in May? Yes. What did you do with all the money? That I got from the state. Yeah. Um, I paid her to live there and... How much did you pay her? In all, it was around two grand in all. And Austin Kelly was right there when me and Megan had an agreement that I would pay her and he was there when I gave her the money. You got paid by the state by check. Yes. What did you do with the check? I deposited it into my bank account. Then you pay her by check. Okay. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. Yes. She says you didn't give her any money. Is that right? She didn't give me any money for rent, no. What did she give you money for? Um, she had to pay her aunt back, and she gave me some cash to pay her aunt back, and then... How much did she have to pay her aunt back? $400. Did you owe your aunt money? Yes. Did you pay her back? Yes, ma'am. Is that $400? Yes, ma'am. So now I want you to tell me, you're suing her for belongings, damaged property, and you're suing this young man for assault. So. What property do you think she has that belongs to you? She has basically everything that makes a home a home. I moved out of my apartment. When you left, on what date did you leave? When I moved out, June 15th. Where did you go? I found my own place. A rental? Yes. And so you had money for rent to yes, put down first, last, and security? Yes. Right. And you had gotten evicted from your old place, so clearly the money that you had been saving from getting money from the state, you used as first, last, and security for your place. Yes, ma'am. When did you tell the defendant that you were moving out? I was going to tell her the next day when I went back to work and tell her that I had found my own place because she wasn't home when I went to get some of my belongings. Just a second. You were watching her children. When did you plan on telling her that you... Oh, her... I wasn't watching her children at that time. Why? There was someone else there watching them. Who was watching them? One of her friends. Who was getting paid? I was. <laughs> well, if you weren't watching her children, why were you getting paid? Me and Megan had an agreement that if I were to claim those hours that I would give her the extra money. <laughs> and Austin was there when that was said. You know, I have absolutely zero interest in you because he figured out how to scam the system, somehow scam the system for doing nothing.